Well, those are their reasons there. IPAC Labour Party National Chairman and um, uh, Prince Dayo Adeyeye, uh, the spokesperson of the McAfee led Katika Committee of the People's Democratic Party. Those are their reasons. They are asking for the postponement of the exercise. We understand that Governor Lucia Gomimiko visited the president. Again, someone will say yes. Uh, well, in the bid of uh, asking the president to uh, weigh in on the matter that is. Um, affecting the People's Democratic Party in uh, Undo State. But what exactly could the president do in this matter? There are a lot of questions, a lot of people are asking politically, of course, what the president may be able to do, considering the fact that Mr. Olusha Gumimiko does not have any candidate in this race so far. If Mr. Jimmy Ibrahim goes down as the candidate who will be representing the People's Democratic Party, and these are calls for the postponement. We've seen protests also at the INEC office in Ondo State. But again, will INEC postpone this election? That was a major one we were expecting today when INEC top officials today from the chairman of uh, INEC to uh, all the national commissioner of INEC and the REC, the IG of police, everybody present, political parties, con some candidates in the race were present today at the stakeholders meeting. And the question was, will INEC postpone this election? Take a listen to what the INEC chairman has to say about this. Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. As in previous elections, INEC will continue to respect this well-established practice. The conduct of the election this weekend involves a large deployment of personnel. Most of these personnel are drawn from the pool of young Nigerians on national assignment through the National Youth Service Corps scheme. Their service, complemented by other patriotic Nigerians, is essential to the electoral processes and to our democracy. They operate often under very difficult circumstances. While we have done everything possible to assure their safety, I appeal to, those all, to all those involved in the election, be they candidates or voters, to assist the Commission and the security agencies in ensuring the safety and security of all electoral officials. For our part, we have warned our officials to operate strictly within the confines of the law and our guidelines. All election duty personnel have sworn to an oath of neutrality and fairness to the process. Any infraction will attract severe sanctions from the Commission. Our plea to political parties uh, and their supporters is that they should eschew violence and the attendant culture of intimidation of electoral officials and the desperate resort to vote buying, ballot box snatching, abduction of electoral officials and other violations of the Electoral Act and INEC guidelines. So far, and I'm very happy to note this, there is no major incidents reported for which we would like to commend all the Ondo stakeholders. I urge all political parties and candidates to maintain the same spirit of orderly conduct during and after the elections on Saturday.